At the beginning of August, a flash crash hit markets globally, triggered by the yen carry trade beginning to unwind. And as I'm gonna show you in this video, we might be on the verge of yet another flash crash triggered by the exact same thing that hasn't yet finished. If you don't know who I am, my name is Joe Brown. I'm a former stockbroker turned YouTuber who spent years advising the top 1% on how to manage their wealth. And now I've turned my attention to teaching regular people financial techniques that exist outside the mainstream. Things that you'd never hear from a typical financial advisor or stockbroker. Now, back when I was a broker, if I ever talked to one of my clients and they called me and they said, hey, I'm really worried about this yen carry trade unwinding and it causing a flash crash in the markets, what is something I could do to protect myself? I probably would not have told them the truth, which would have been, I have no idea what you're talking about. We don't care about stuff like that. The only thing that we care about is you giving me more money so we can charge a fee percent on a higher dollar amount from you and make more money from you. But what I would have told him is, hey, you don't have to worry about that. There's volatility in markets. All you have to do is dollar cost average in. If there are any periods of heightened volatility, then you get a little bit more shares at a little bit of a better price. And if you are really concerned about it, then we should probably have you in a more of a conservative portfolio. You have a little bit more cash and some allocation to some 20 or 30 year US treasuries. Because investing your money in bonds that pay you a yield that is lower than the rate of inflation is a fantastic idea for people who are concerned about losing money. But today, if you ask me that same question, I get to actually tell you the truth. So to explain what the truth is, we have to talk about what the yen carry trade is. The yen carry trade is just one variation in a long string of relative value trades that look risk-free, so people load up with leverage, and then it blows up in their face when something that should never have happened actually does happen. With this variation, for years, people have been taking advantage of the fact that you can borrow at very cheap rates in Japan. And so very simply, you go to Japan and you borrow a bunch of money. And just for ease of example here, let's say you're borrowing at 1%. Well, now with all that money, you've got to do something to make at least 1%. So if you want to play it safe, you're going to go loan that money to the US government. And let's say you're going to make 2%. That means you are making a free 1% on no money because you're borrowing money, deploying it over here, and you're just keeping the spread. Now, 1%'s not a lot, and so you're gonna have to use a lot of leverage for this as well, which is exactly what a lot of institutions have done. But it gets even better than that because what if I want a better return than just giving it to the United States government? What if I wanna put it in something like the stock market or I don't know, the Magnificent Seven that have been outperforming the overall stock market. Now I can borrow at extremely cheap rates and I get to have extraordinary performance with the money that I borrowed. And by the way, if you're looking for somebody to walk you through exactly what is coming up next for America and what you can do about it, I've recently launched a brand new newsletter called Letters from a Heretic and people are loving it. It's the only place where I'm gonna go deeper into topics that I seriously doubt you're gonna hear about anywhere else. As soon as you sign up, you get my five day series called The Most Dangerous Ideas in America. These are ideas that are so powerful they could soon reshape the economic landscape in America. America. We talk about things like the real reason that we might be on the cusp of World War III, the rise of the House of Saud, the true location of the digital financial all-seeing eye, a secret manuscript that predicted the end of America and what that means for your wealth, and even the US dollar's final phase. If you're interested in receiving that and starting to make better decisions about how to grow and protect your wealth during times of economic crisis, it's completely free. Just hit the link in the description below, enter your email. I'll start showing you everything I know. Add on top of that, the fact that the difference in interest rates with Japan and the rest of the world has meant that the Japanese yen has continued to get weak for a long time now. This is a chart of the Japanese yen versus the US dollar for over a decade. It has just gone down and to the right. This makes it really easy to make this trade work because whenever I borrow money in Japan, remember I'm borrowing yen from them, if it's weakening over time, then it makes it easier and easier to convert my dollars back into yen. It takes fewer and fewer of my dollars to get the same number of yen that I owe back. And so this trade has worked out fantastic for a very long time. And with trades like this, they work until they don't. And that's exactly what happened at the beginning of August when monetary policy around the world began to shift. You see, the Bank of Japan has recently reversed course and they are now on the quantitative tightening bandwagon. Not only that, they are raising interest rates, right as the Federal Reserve is announced that they are going to start moving forward on lowering 
interest rates. This reversal in monetary policy by both of the central banks means that there has been a massive increase in the value of the yen relative to the US dollar recently. So if you're tracking, this is bad for anybody who has borrowed a bunch of yen and is currently invested in dollar assets. Because now, it takes more dollars to be able to get the same number of yen that I owe back. Now, the difference in interest rates right now is not really a big deal. The biggest deal is number one, all the leverage, because on a risk-free trade, everybody just loads you up with leverage so that you can take those pennies and multiply them by hundreds and thousands to get the big money. But the yen going up versus the dollar at a rate this quickly and this far is something that many considered to be impossible, or at least, would probably never happen, which means when it does happen, you get burned. The currencies move the opposite direction than you expected them to, which means your position is now at a loss, which means you get forced out. You think, hey, if I just hold, it'll eventually go back the right direction, but the people who loaned you money don't wanna take that risk, so they make you close out. And keep in mind, this is a relative value trade, which means you have two positions. You have your dollar assets and you have your yen liabilities, which means when you are forced to close out, that means you're buying yen and you are selling your dollar assets. Looking back at this chart, that means as the yen rallies and you get closed out, when you close your positions out, you make this rally even worse for everybody else. And then when everybody else gets put to their risk limits, they have to close out. It's a domino effect. As everybody gets pushed out of the exact same over leveraged position, it makes the losses worse for everybody else and then everybody else has to start closing out. In situations like this, you never sell what you want, you sell what you can, which forces institutions to start selling other assets that are still at a gain in order to cover their losses. This is how things like this bleed over into flash crashes in the stock market in the United States. Not to mention the fact that it triggers the blow up in the short volatility trade, which by the way, has just rolled over, doubled down, and is nowhere near wiping people out in that trade. In fact, a lot of more money is in it right now than there was before. We're on the verge of another little flash crash from volatility, just like happened at the beginning of August in volatility. But that's for a later video as well. And in case you are hoping that this unwind was finished, we are not actually close. In fact, analysts are estimating that we are currently only about 50 to 60% done with this unwind of this yen carry trade. As the Federal Reserve moves forward with cutting interest rates, the Bank of Japan moves forward with tightening and any other unexpected catalyst that shouldn't be able to happen ends up happening. There's a lot of money on the line now, right now that is primed for blow up, just teetering on the edge of being wiped out. Now it is true, markets can stay irrational longer than you can stay solvent. And that's the only smart thing that John Maynard Keynes ever said. So during times like this, I am not net positioned short. I'm still net positioned long. I'm just playing both sides. Stay long, tail hedge when markets look too green to be true. That way you can get it for cheap. And if you want real time alerts about opportunities with huge profit potential and the training to know what to do in those situations, join my private group, Heresy Financial University. More information is linked in the description below. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day.